Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we are going to be opening Model Box, my monthly subscription to miniature related tools, miniatures themselves, that sort of hobby. It's a subscription box similar to Loot Crate. If you'd like to know more about this, I did talk about it loads in the first video I did, and there's plenty of information in the description below. Please follow those links if you'd like to know more about this concept. Now, on to this month, we, um, we've passed Christmas, we've passed my birthday. I've stopped getting presents. So the first thing when this arrived is I thought, oh, presents, it's like doing it again. So as always, it just keeps reminding me that one of my favorite things with these subscription boxes is like, it's a little bit like Christmas, a little bit like your birthday. Once a month, something arrives, no idea what it is. The excitement builds and I want to open the box. This month it is the, it's sci-fi themed. I'm not a massive sci-fi. Well, actually I'm a massive sci-fi fan. But when I'm playing miniature games, I'm much more into the fancy, as I've mentioned a million times. But this is sci-fi, and Nemesis will be arriving soon, which is sci-fi based, so it could be anything in here that I might be able to use in that area. This box, I, I would like to mention, has arrived two weeks late, uh, which is quite a long time. It's half the time you're basically paying for the next box when this one's arrived. Now, to some extent, you know, it's it's one guy, George, he's running it by himself. These things happen. And if you're part of the Model Box Facebook group, he's kept you completely up to date. He's let you know everything. And it's just one guy, right? Like it's difficult. Things happen. And anytime it's even a day late, you know, he's telling you straight away on the group. He's, he's very open with the information. And, you know, it's there's normally a good reason you can completely understand when he's getting stuff from other companies and they don't make it in time how is he going to make it in time so these things happen he's also put a comment this morning on the facebook group saying there's two paints in here spoilers uh, and if they are the same he wants you to get in contact so if you if you are subscribed and you've got two of the same get in contact with him let him know and he's going to sort that all out for you which i thought were you know top blow that's really really nice uh because you can, you know, if, I, if they're two blacks, I'm not going to complain. I use black, that's the only one I ever run out of. Anyway, let's find out. I'm just stalling myself because I like to tease, uh, teasing myself. It's the, like I said, it's one of the most exciting parts for me. Uh, there's a discount in the description below as well. If you are interested in trying this out, let's ooh, just knock that knife over. Let's have a look. So we're in. You get a packet of sweets or candy if you're in the States, as always. I really like Tang Plastic ones. I'm always, it's always, do I give them to Sophie or do I have them or Benson have them? But oh, they're, they're my favorite. So a uh, <laughs> little taster for there. So you can see the paints I was mentioning. I have not got the same colors. So well done, George. You managed to hold it together. How did he, how did he put two of the same? Like these are so substantially different. I imagine we've all got similar ranges. Let us know in the comments below if you've got model box, what colors did you get? But violet free, a nice purple and another off yellowy yellowy white color i'm just looking right next to me like how many, how many of these off yellowy white colors can there be oh that was a bad demonstration no it's not i've got more well it's quite good right you get to step step through the shades darkest middle yeah something like that but anyway these are the war colors range uh, these are both opaque so they're sort of uh, the basing colors then we've got some scenery. This is by Gatehouse Gaming UK. Started using quite a bit of their, their stuff here and there. I've got, well, I've got a large collection. Um, oh, this is really cool, actually. Let me just open this. Let's have a look what's in here. I like these little tubs they come in. They all stack, and I've got a pile of them on my shelves. You've probably seen me get these a few times. So in this particular one, it's just all sci-fi based stuff, isn't it? Like some sort of futuristic, well, it's not even futuristic, is it? Just some big steel vat like thing to paint up uh, a metal barrel nice is that a gun some sort of gatling gun style thing to put on the base somewhere a box of stuff metal metal crate some uh that's almost like terrain isn't it some ap 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 <laughs> end of the world style barrier <laughs> a broken barrel that's nice these are 3d printed I, you can tell they're built up all the layers that's nice, so you can look like the barrel's submerged in something, maybe water, maybe some toxic sludge. 
an ammo crate again there, that sort of thing. So that's that's handy. Might be very useful for um, Nemesis adding it to those alien bases. And then we've got what's left two models. Is that another rocks? It is. How many rocks are they? How do I not ever know when I'm getting a rocks? So let's look at the non rocks one first. Because as I said, I'm not super. Oh, there's two. What's going on? I know it's its wings. What is this? I'm going to have to read that little pamphlet that comes to uh, to let you know what this is because I cannot tell. Some sort of mechanized androidy heron. It looks like a heron. It looks like a bird to me. Uh, I'm sure it had some wings in here. Look at those. So it's got a huge gun. I'm just going on one of its arms. Some bits and pieces. And oh, is that just one? Maybe wings through his back. I don't know. We'll look in the. That's that is beneficial. I think you saw me at the start. I threw it to one side. There's always a pamphlet. It does go into the detail, but I just like looking and being bewildered by what is this stuff. So we'll have a look in the pamphlet in a second. And then yeah, so Model Box also do these exclusive miniatures. They have designed and made up resin miniatures. And their sort of mascot, this sort of rocks the model box, fo model box fox. This is a sci-fi version, so he's got his little sort of space helmet on there, his space kit, his space his space gun, his sci-fi gun, and his tail with some little armor plates on. Lovely. So uh, another thing, just while I remember, they do a competition, and it's normally painting the the rocks. Although there isn't always an exclusive one, and I don't know how I I never know when they're coming, but. These are fast becoming my favorite part of Model Box because I've painted every single one. Um, this will be no exception, maybe make it a character or a proxy for within Nemesis. But yeah, every month they have a competition and I've entered last month, which was the swashbuckling one. And you can see here, I've painted up rocks. This is Captain Rocks. So he was the pirate theme and I've based him. And this was a chest that came in a random Model Box months and months ago. This is some gold by Gatehouse gaming the, the guys who supplied this and then yeah i've just made this up so this is my competition entry this month so wish me luck uh hopefully i'll win for once i've not won yet but i keep on trying but honestly the foxes are just a pleasure pleasure to paint so i suspect you'll be seeing this guy over the next couple of weeks while i'm painting that up for next month yeah very nice and really really like that and that's it this month they are, to me, it does feel like the boxes are getting higher quality, less stuff, if that makes sense. Like, these won't be cheap to produce, and you know what miniatures, bespoke miniatures will be costing. So these are these are very nice, and they sell them on the site, and you, so you can see how much they cost. Then you've got this little robot -y guy. Obviously, don't know what he's from. I'll pause the video and read that in a minute. Box of terrain. Honestly, I just keep all this stuff, and, well, you saw, I've had... I've had these crates which I've not used for months and I was like boom chest perfect on here and this gold I've had around for a month or two and again it just ties in so I do enjoy collecting up all the little bits and they just sit on the side waiting and waiting especially for competition entries which they do one every month and uh, it's it's a good place to practice doing that and give it a try. So sweets obviously cops next to nothing and then paints. Uh, I've probably not quite got these colours, so it's nice to, to be able to go through the range of tones in a colour and sometimes these fill the gaps. And not this month, but quite a lot of the time they're introducing me to brands I've never heard of. They've sent me a war colours before. I use their paints, they're fine. I prefer my army painter ones, but these are definitely worth keeping on the radar and do have slightly different tones to, to my army paint as well. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm, as always, very, very happy with the exclusive the rocks so let me just pause for a minute and i will quickly flick through here just in case there's anything i need to tell you back in a sec right guys i have had a quick flick through this pamphlet does it get thicker and thicker this is a really nice card it's on just saying um usual useful information the theme is why what this model box rocks fox is about sci-fi as mentioned he's actually a space trooper rocks this time uh, George mentions which parts he likes, the helmet looking very 80s, 90s, and it certainly does. Mentions this that little alien thing with the wings, and it's from CP Models. Never heard of them. So that is a nice thing with these subscriptions. You find about companies you've never heard of, which I'll now go and look up, or you know, even has the URL. Can't click it though, so 
not super helpful. It tells you the next month theme, which is Mortal Gods. And then on the back continues, tells you a bit more about the sci-fi. So what I didn't know this time is you've got this that metal canister, metal sci-fi futuristic thing, and this Gatling gun, flamethrower. It's got barrels, I think that's a flamethrower. Anyway, they fit on top of each other, so you can sort of mount it in there and do whatever you want with it, but it's interesting, isn't it? Different. I like when things go together. <laughs> just just another thing. And then the paints, I haven't got these colours, so there must be a whole bunch of different colours that you can get. And uh, what else did it come with? War, war colours supplied. Uh, test the coverage of your paint and just a little piece of paper that you can do this. And I had a go with some war colours, Vallejo, Army Painters paints. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to show. I don't fully understand. And I don't know how you do a controlled test. I had different amounts of paint on the brush and different watered down fins. But, you know, it's something to play with, something interesting. I could certainly see the war colours is much, much, much thinner, whether that's a good or a bad thing. I feel like the Vallejo's was too thick. The war colours was too thin. Is the army paint is just right? Goldilocks? I don't know. Literally, I filmed this and I'm just gonna I just cut it out because I don't know what it what it proves or doesn't prove. Just interesting. Something you can try if you've subscribed to it. That's it guys. I'm gonna go eat these sweets now. Thank you all very much for watching.